everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and now it's time to discuss the build guide for Screamer. Um, a lot of you guys were actually asking for this video, the build guide, because she's now in the banner together with uh, Sirslet, and here we are. Just going to go over um, the basics, so stats, recommended plays, uh, skill priority, Awaken priority and who she works well with. Okay, starting off with her stats, it's uh, important that you more or less increase her AP. This contributes to her healing and her damage, of course. HP for more survivability. Um, bonus healing is also a plus, especially if you want to go to the route wherein she's a more of a healer less of a support and also also the ultimate recharge would be a good one to develop as well okay so next up is her recommended place so right now i have her uh this is seth i think so for just want to go through this one i already was able to what do you call this this is part of my recommendation anyway so seth is a three star play this is only a temporary play i don't think you'll be using this one moving forward so uh emirate resistance is 32 when defeated increase all allies ad and ap by 15 within eight seconds so this is just a temporary play if you don't have anything to equip the first one is going to be Madame Mer. Madame Mer is increased AP by 32, which helps in her healing attack. Upon full chat, next basic attack deals an additional M damage equal to 30 AP. Again, Madame Mer and Seth here were Seth. Both of these plays will just be your starting plays. Again, most of you guys have Screamer as your secondary healer. So I'm sure that uh, you won't give her your best, you know, best sets. But again, um, in any which case, even if she is your primary healer uh, or primarily primary aduatrix, definitely these three stars, Seth and Madame Mer, will work for her temporarily. So let's uh, move on to the four star recommendations. At four star, we have Doctor Gong Sun. So 2p set, AP by 10%, which she needs. Upon using the skill, AP is increased by 25% for 4 seconds. So this is kind of, you know, serviceable enough. Dr. Gunso, this is actually a hard, a, an easier play to get at level, um, at 4-star. At um, the other one I think that I would recommend most for 4-star is actually this one. So, Dr. Watson is a 2p set, increased AP by 10%. And a 3p set, after casting a skill, has a 40% chance to gain energy. This is actually my favorite to equip her, if in case I would get this one. So, the gain 3 energy is, you know, it, it, let her, it lets her spam her skills. Not necessarily contributing to healing, but um, her being able to cast those spells as soon as she can okay so again the the three energy is to the pool so again you could use it on her on her skills the other ones that i will recommend top recommendations if you're gonna be using her as a majority of a healer then lubelia four star is actually suited for you this, uh, this is my recommendation for you know for the for the healer build and the last one the last build is ohita this one is the five star healer build play so healing effect by 15 when healing uh when healing a target every 15 percent missing on hp on the target will increase their healing received by eight by eight percent okay so this one is by 10 and again both um, both of these are actually available in the current uh, banner. So we have a healing banner right now. Both uh, Ohita and Lobelia are available there. 
Dr. Watson is actually my choice because I want to, you know, trigger um, skills more often. That is why I want the three energy gain. That is why I like, you know, the utility more on her. So those are the plays. Again, Madam Murph and Seth for three star. Dr. Gong Sun and Dr. Watson for four. Lub uh, and also Lubelia and Uhita for five. Okay, so in terms of Screamer, in terms of skills, skill priority, which to level up first. My first priority would be her passive. So level up her passive first because this triggers a lot of healing. So every time you consume one stack of Naoki energy to enhance her skill, heals all allies by 196 to 210 AP. This one is really, really nice to have. So this is priority one. Next up is her active skill. Either active skill is a priority. This one is more of um, um, attack speed increase, healing, and this one is more of a burning effect and healing as well. So both of them um, are a priority. The next one before the last one uh, is going to be your ultimate. So no, uh, th this one is a has d deterrent high. Silence the enemy so that they cannot use their skill or ultimate for six seconds. This is nice as well. And the last priority to level up is actually her basic attack because she you don't really need her to this is her last priority in in terms of what she needs to do so level up this the last in terms of skill priority in terms of active skill preference wise if you ask me um the burning effect if she has fellow fire you know fire people in the team you don't really need this all you need is um okay so this one doesn't have a healing so recover one self energy for this one and this one has um has burn however this one is what i like because this is accompanied by a attack speed increase and uh this one also has heal and a 40 bonus healing effect so technically you are you have two um skills in one skill two abilities in one skill you have attack speed increase and you have healing here this one i don't think you need that much because of the this only gives burning effect and and, and uh, on the target and recover one self uh self recover one self energy so that is it so again those are your skill priorities i hope um i was clear on that okay so for awaken <clears throat> phase one is a bonus healing effect phase two is energy refund phase three is actually um already good because either you choose silence a target or when when ally hp falls 50 ignite your spark healing effect is increased by 20 percent could be it really depends on what you want to build her if you want to build her with a lot of abilities then go for silence if you want to go for more healing then definitely go for this one so i'm going with silence at this point i have other healers so might as well build a screamer in a different way phase four so increases attack speed by allies by 15 which is a nice nice buff to complement your phase three and this one is again another further for healing phase five is this one is also attack speed increase this one is loss of attack speed so this is a debuff so generally i'd still go with attack speed buff for my team and because again if i don't think bosses are affected by this so might as well go with the safe route and Put a attack speed buff on your team so next up this is the last one i'd go with this one the passive the super naoki character charging time is reduced by six so and um, noki's healing effect is increased by 50 percent so in terms of naoki here so this is what 
it means. So uh, this will turn into 9 and the healing will be increased by, I think, 40% or 50% if I'm not mistaken. So it's 50%. So depends upon you. I'd like to do the lesser um, uh, time rather than the healing effect. Again, it's really up to you guys on how to mix and match her skills and her awaken tree. Just make sure that all are actually complementing each other. So again, don't mix and match skills and, and awaken tree without checking what you have versus what you want to pick for the awaken tree. Okay, so what else? She works well with definitely anybody, any team. She is not your go-to. She, she will not be your go-to pure hero, healer. Um, there are better healers in the game aside from her. But but with more copies of her, she can be a good healer or probably an above average healer. So again... It just depends on how many copies of her that you get and how far you go with her Awakened Tree. Um, my take on her, <coughs> use her as a sub-healer more, more on the buffs for your team, attack speed especially, because that is going to give your, you know, your roster a more different look if you use her. Or if you use a pure healer like Roko or Nuno. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much. Put your comments down in the comment section. And let me let me know what you think with Screamer. And uh, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.